The Diploma in Engineering offers fantastic opportunities for learners to develop hands-on practical skills by relating their engineering to real-life problems with real-life companies and applying their engineering knowledge in those contexts. The Diploma in Engineering is very highly regarded. It was designed by employers um, in conjunction with um, the Sector Skills Councils and Educationalists and is very well regarded with the Russell Group Universities, in particular Cambridge who have come out and said it's one of the best engineering qualifications they've seen. University Technical Colleges are a new concept in education. They are for 14 to 19 year olds the opportunity to take a highly regarded, full-time, technically orientated course of study. They are equipped to the highest standard and sponsored by a university. They offer clear progression routes into higher education or further learning in work, including apprenticeships. Uh, the engineering diploma is broken into a range of units and those units will cover uh, manufacturing, designing, it will cover making skills, maintenance, electronics and programming. Um, there's also a project at the end of the diploma which is all about the students uh, learning independently, making independent progress, planning their own work schedules uh, and there's a work experience element to it as well. What we liked about the engineering diploma was the fact that it's a very broad-based vocational course. It is not intended to be a pure vocational course, it turns out engineers. It's a broad-based way of teaching, a broad curriculum. It's really important that they're learning to be self-managers, independent learners. Communication is really important. They do a lot of presentations to each other, to people outside. We have links with um, Cadbury's and the RAF. The Cadbury project starts with a, a visit to the shop floor um, and the engineers that guide them, do a tour with the students, present the students with four problems and those problems can be anything from manual handling problems through to programming problems and uh, maintenance issues. The students then get an opportunity to talk to the engineers about potential solutions and um, back here at the CLC they'll work on their solutions and those solutions will be taking the form of PowerPoint presentations, working models, uh, a presentation that's costed, um, some, so some real design solutions that the students try and work to and present back to the Cadbury's engineers. The RAF they learn about very good working practices as you can imagine with the forces. Uh, they work on helicopters, taking rotors on and off and so on. It's um, a two day residential here at RAF Shawbury um, and it's the final year of the diploma students so it's year 11 pupils and they've come along to work on real-time uh, projects, different activities, um, and gaining different skills from them, real-life skills. There are three projects. There's an electronics lab in which they're programming um, components, IC, microchips, um, using flow charts and flow diagrams. They're working on the helicopter behind, changing the propeller blades and moving um, the helicopter. And the third one they're doing wire locking and some riveting, so it's an, an, an numerous different skills that they'll be using. Yeah, the diploma um, is an excellent qualification because it, it gives a real understanding of the breadth of engineering, the different sectors that make engineering up and uh, the potential progression routes that it offers, um, both into higher education, further education, apprenticeships and further training in the world of work. I've been really impressed with what's going on here at Frankly City Learning Centre. The students uh, are excellent, clearly motivated by a hands-on practical uh, applied learning course such as the engineering diploma 
um, and I've seen their project work, I've seen them out in the world of work at Capri's and at RAF Shawbury and what I'm seeing is motivated, enthusiastic learners making real progress and genuinely enjoying engineering uh, for what it is. In the engineering diploma we found that students can really surprise us. Um, through the project a number of students have been able to produce work that is well beyond what we've taught them and in fact in some cases beyond what we can help them with. There's one student currently working with us who for his project has decided to teach himself C Hash, the programming language, and developed a game that can be sold as an app well beyond my skills. Another student comes to mind who decided to make a radio controlled boat. It was quite a large boat completely designed and manufactured here by himself. He wanted to try and work out how fast he could get it to go and then he had the problem of working out how to calculate the speed. Uh, he did this by um, putting a sat-nav inside the boat, so he really used his initiative there. As teachers, we want the students to leave us with the widest possible skill set so that they're ready for the adult world. And that isn't just about knowledge and understanding of engineering principles and maths and English. It's about engaging with adults, it's about working in a team, it's about independent learning. And because that's built into the very nature of the diploma, I think we're doing a really good job through the diploma in preparing the students for, for, the, for the real wide adult world when they leave us. We're incredibly pleased with our students. They've really gone beyond our expectations, the way they progressed as people, as engineers of the future. They've gone on to so many different areas. The results were fantastic. As a group of teachers, uh, we are just so incredibly proud of our students. And I'm also very, very proud of our teachers who have done a fantastic job. Mm -hmm.